This is a video for Level 2 ICT. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a PowerPoint presentation about ourselves. So I'm going to create a PowerPoint presentation about myself. Open a new blank presentation document, and that's in PowerPoint. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type in PowerPoint, and I see the app straight away from the Microsoft Office suite. I'm going to click on blank presentation because that's what the question asked for. And so this is my blank new PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to be filling in. You're going to make a presentation about yourself. Set up the presentation so that it has four slides. OK, so I'm going to go back to my presentation. Now, this is my first slide, and it's always there, and this is my title slide. So I need three more slides. If I click on this box here, I will just get one. This is how you get one slide at a time. But if you want to add several slides altogether, you click the box above. So I've got one. I need three more. One, two, and three. So that's altogether going to be four slides. And as you can see, each of my slides are ready for me to type in. And this is my title slide. The title slide should have your name on it and an image. OK, so I'm going to go back to the title slide. I'm going to make this box at the top narrower because my name is not that big. But then this box below, I'm going to make it a little bit wider, just to show you you can play around with the size, width of the boxes. So I'm going to type my name, and I'll click on the bottom box. This is where I'm going to insert my image. I am going to go Insert. I do not have a suitable picture on my PC, so I'm going to go to Online Pictures. The question did not say specifically what image, so I'm free to choose whatever image I like. For now, I'm going to look at Flower. I quite like this one. I'm going to click on it and then Insert. And it will download the flower for me. Obviously, this is far too big, so I'm going to have to reduce it down to an appropriate size. OK, I click on it and I can move it around. I'm going to put it in this box right here. I don't need this section at the bottom. This is going to be the author um, or photographer's information that I do not need. OK, now as I move my image, it can t PowerPoint tells me when my image is right in the center of my slide. And that's good to know. I want it to be right in the center. OK, and that's my title slide. I get a preview of my, what my slide looks like over here as well. Now, later on, if I want to move this, I click on this slide and I can move it. You can move your slides up and down. For now, I need it to be my title slide, so it needs to stay up. OK. Slide 2 should have three pieces of information about you on it. For example, your date of birth, where you live, and your job. Each bit of information should be animated. OK. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. I'm going to go on slide number two. And this is about me. Every slide needs to have a title about me. My first thing is the date of birth. It says you need to have your date of birth. I'm not going to say my date of birth is. I'm going to change my sentence a little bit. So I'm going to write, I was born on, for date we use on, I was born on, let's say, for example, 18th of September, let's say, I don't know, 1980, for example. I've just made myself a little bit younger there, but that's OK. <laughs> the next thing, I'm just going to remind myself, the next thing was where you live and your job. OK, so where I live, I currently live in London in the UK. OK, and each of my sentences I need to punctuate correctly. And the third one was my job. I work as a functional 
skills, and ESOL teacher. That's my job. Okay. So I've got these three bits of information here, but if I look at my slide, I see all my information is clustered into one section. It's not very nice. I want to spread it out. So I'm going to highlight all three sentences. And at the top here, you can see this little gadget. If I click on this arrow, I can space out my sentences a little bit. As you can see, my sentences space out. So two is great. I've created a bit of space between my sentences. The next part of the question was, it has to be animated. So I'm going to click my three sentences together. I'm not going to do it separately. Three sentences together. I'm going to go to animations, click, and this is where you can choose any type of animation you like, and there are many, many more, for your information to be presented. For example, if I click on fade, my information will fade in into the screen. If I, for example, click on fly in, my information will fly in. So this is where I can choose what type of animation I want. I'm quite happy with fly in, so I'm going to leave it at that. However, if I'm not happy with the animation that I have, I can click on this little button here and I can click on none and that will take away that one sentence if I'm not happy with the animation for example okay or you can get rid of the animation here and this slide as well uh, so for now again I'm going to highlight my sentences and I'm going to go with fly in and this is how my information will be presented excellent so Slide number two, I've got my three pieces of information, I've got these, and I've included animation. Slide three should have some information about the town or city you live in. Okay. Slow. So, in slide three, we're going to write a little bit about the city where we live, which is the city of London. OK, so I'm going to type the word London at the top and I want to make sure that I'm in home view, not animation in home. OK, now I've done a little bit of Google search because I want to put accurate information uh, about London. So uh, I live in London. It is the biggest city in Western Europe, and I've actually Googled that. <laughs> it has a population of around 9 million, which is huge, and is approximately 2,000 years old. Okay, so that's some information about the city where I live. Yes. Slide three should have some information about the city or town you live in, and that is information. Uh, the question does not say you need to include an image, so I do not need to include an image there. Okay. The biggest city, it has a population of that much, and it's around 2,000 years old. Excellent. Slide four. Slide four should say what your interests are, so what my hobbies are. Okay, so slide four, I'm going to click on slide four, I'm going to give it a title. My hobbies. Okay. I love to spend time reading various types of books. I also enjoy socializing with friends, meeting new people, and getting to know new cultures. I actually love doing that very much. Okay, so that is uh, my hobby in that I love to spend time reading, uh, socializing, meeting people, and learning about their cultures. 
I also have a great passion for cooking. I love to cook. I love to eat as well. <laughs> but I love to cook uh, and I love to try different things when I am actually cooking. My greatest passion uh, I'm sorry, I've got a spelling mistake there. My greatest passion is traveling. I absolutely love to travel. Uh, I love to learn about other cultures, uh, about other uh, countries and people. In my opinion, that's the best education. Okay, so this slide was about my hobbies. Excellent. Again, the question does not say that you need to include any images. If you want to include images, then you would go to your PowerPoint, you would go insert, you can either include an image from your PC or from online images if you wish, but the question so far has not asked me to do that. Okay. Add a footer to every slide with your name on it. Let's go back to PowerPoint. So I'm going to add a footer to every slide. I'm in Insert tab. Over here, just like Microsoft Word, I have the header and footer. I'm going to click on it and I want to go down and find footer. I'm going to select footer and here it's been highlighted for me. The question said you need to insert your name on every slide. So the footer, I click on this box, I want to insert my name, which is Layla. And here I want my name to apply to all, all four slides. So I click apply all and I can see my name has been added. If you can see all these tiny, tiny bits, if I click on them, I've got my name in the footer of every single slide and that's how I add footer information to every slide. Okay. Make sure each slide has an appropriate heading. So when I look, yes, I can see each of my slides. My title obviously has my name, but each of my slides, yes, has an appropriate heading that I have on it. Play the slideshow through and then for my students they're going to share their PowerPoint with me. Okay, so this is where you can go to play at the top, right at the top. You also have the option here at the bottom where it says slideshow. If you click on that then you will see uh, your slideshow will appear and remember the transition that we were talking about Yes, okay, so that's going to be my slideshow and my students are going to use this option here that says share and they are going to share it to me either via PDF or by email, they're going to share it to me. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much.